My name is Frank Delore. I'm a music producer and DJ, also luxury market consultant as it pertains to music, fashion shows, yeah, events. DJing has been good to me. Music has been good to me. I started as a music producer in the mid '90s, about '94, and I remember being told by A and R directors, "Hey." You do dance music one day, urban music the next. So they would tell me I had to choose. I had to choose. You have to choose. You're never going to be successful unless you choose one style. But I've never chosen. And 18 years later, actually 21 years later, I'm still here in the business. So uh... I went to Haiti three times. Um, twice to do an event called the Feline Party, which is a fundraiser and fashion show and um, high-end party on this mountain called Taras, uh, outdoor event space in Haiti. So I went twice to do that, and I went once to do a New Year's Eve party for some friends of a political family. But uh, my first trip to Haiti was probably my most touching because it was the first time that I saw that level of poverty firsthand, and it was just two years after the earthquake. I believe and um, yeah it was just mind-blowing to me to see that level of poverty and then on the contrast be out there with the elite Haitians who um, of course they felt the tragedy but economically were not affected at all so it was a kind of a bittersweet trip in a sense because on one hand you know I was out there making all this money and then at the same time, you hear people walking the streets right outside of my hotel with no shoes, you know? So uh, for me, I, I kind of felt a little guilty and then I felt very, very humbled by the experience um, and even more blessed because I, I realized the great divide, you know, it became more of a reality. I wasn't seeing it on TV. I wasn't reading it in a magazine. It was right in front of my face. So it was kind of a heart-wrenching experience for me very touching. You said your grandfather is from there. Do you still have any other family there? No, I don't. No, I do not at all. I'm unaware of my Haitian family tree. So this is something I'm working on now, a track called Lit. And this is the beat I'm writing to. <laughs> go back to Haiti? I would love to go back as soon as the opportunity permits I would love to go back. Uh, it was a beautiful country. Uh, most of my time was spent in Port-au-Prince but I did get a chance to go out to Montreux on the north coast which was absolutely gorgeous beautiful beaches and uh, got to experience a lot on the trip from Port-au-Prince to Montreux as well see how a lot of the Haitians outside of the big cities were living and how they were trading at the markets and so forth, very old school style of living, you know, um, a la Africa, I felt like. Now I'm working on a compilation album, um, various songs I'm producing, urban style to more of a dance house music style. And uh, yeah, I'm working on a compilation album full of all kinds of treats, um, mostly dance oriented, but uh, the primary focus is conscious lyrics and no use of profanity on the entire album. So I feel that, you know, as a responsible musician, this is my offering um, in a day where so much music does have profanity and does have less than progressive messages. I wanted to offer something different. <laughs> 